All right, hello everyone. So this is gonna be part two of my plasma build. Um, just kind of going over um, all the 3D printed parts that I used. Um, thought I'd give you a little bit of a close up of where I used the 3D printer and what. If you look at the electronics box here, you can see these little motor controllers. Um, I ended up 3D printing some brackets to mount those and I'll, I'll in, put some pictures of them in also. These are the 3D printed mounts for the motor controllers. Um, and then of course the controller itself, you can see it's on a 3D printed mount too. Okay, so these are uh, NEMA 23 stepper motors. And if you've ever played with stepper motors, you know the wires usually just come out the end of the motor and sometimes it can be a challenge to tidy up the wiring. So I 3D printed these caps and I'll show you what they do is you just pop them off here. They just slip on and you can coil your wire in there and then I just used a cable tie to hold the wire from, or the cable from sliding out. And the round hole in the bottom with the little collar there is just to keep the wires wrapped around the outside. So if you have a NEMA 23, motor that has a shaft on the back end, um, you won't get your wires wrapped around the axle there. The other place I used uh, my 3D printer is for the um, brackets here to hold the belt. Uh, now of course this top cap is aluminum as you can see, but let me take this off real quick and I'll show you the 3D printed part. Okay, so we got the two screws out, remove the aluminum cap. I'm gonna just set that aside right there. Show you the underside of the belt. So the teeth of the belt engage with the teeth that were 3D printed in that block. So you just engage the teeth with the belt put the cap back on and uh, screw it down tight. Okay, the other place I used a lot of 3D printed parts were holding my micro switches. If you look here on the floating head, um, I printed the block and the switch holder. So that just goes up and engages. And of course for the Z-axis, you can see the switch right in there. And it's also just a 3D printed holder. Gauge is just fine. And the one thing you wanna be careful with when uh, 3D printing and micro switches, if you put heat shrink on the wires like I did, um, you can't get the 3D part too hot with the heat gun, you gotta be careful. Anyway, here's a stop that was printed for this micro switch that you can see there. That's the Y axis. Comes down, hopefully you can see that there. It's a little tough, it's tight in there, but there it engages. And then of course the x-axis is right here. You can see the 3D printed parts, both the ramp stop and the uh, switch mount. So here's a little better view of the 3D bracket for the little um, Toshiba motor drivers. Here's a motor driver right here and you can see it just sits right in there like that. And then I put four screws right down in each corner and it holds it in good. This is just a little quick shot of some of the different mounts that I 3D printed for the micro switches. And all I did was uh, print them such that the micro switch would barely slip inside. And then I just put a little dab of epoxy on them to hold them in place. So this extrude aluminum um, material at the ends, it's all open like this. And I went ahead and 3D printed some caps to put on that. And I'll put those on and show you what they look like. Caps all on. Just kind of trims things out a little bit. 
As you saw in the first video, um, I put the end caps on all the end of my tubing. underneath the frame and like there's 3d printed end caps and all the way along okay one other component i did is i wanted something to hold up my wiring um, and cables underneath the uh, x-axis track here so you can see i ran the track down here like this and then the cables drop underneath and then of course when you get underneath i 3d printed these little parts I'll put a picture of it in it so you can see a little better, but it's just nice. Cleans up the wiring underneath. Okay, last but not least uh, for 3D printed parts so far is the splash shield that uh, just slips over the end of the torch head. I'll put that on to show you. Just take it up here and put it on right like so and just slip it on that just helps the water from splashing so i think that's about it for the 3d printed parts um so far anyway um you can see i'm just trying to dress out my wiring on the control box and um, shorten everything up and and make it a little nicer i'm going to put a plexiglass cover on it so that we can see lights and leds while it's running i just put this shield around it to protect it from water and that so i'll get that buttoned up here shortly and give you a short little video of that i added an on off switch for the main power and then uh, that's about it for now uh, we'll get you some more shots here before too long thanks for watching